Hi everyone, welcome to the Maharees. Now if you've not been here before, you should come. It is, frankly, astonishing. Now, I've hit that mileage in life where a celebratory trip with my surf buddies is nothing short of compulsory. And here we are. This place, well, this place has it all. In fact, so many spots that I'm not gonna list them, plus a microclimate all of its own. So suffice it to say that for any given day, you've got so much choice that finding a match for your ability, energy or discipline, well, it's just so easy. And days like those, well, they stay with you for a long time. Over the decades, I've windsurfed it, I've kited it, and this time, I'm mostly winging it. This place, oh, this place is special. So sit back, enjoy the scenery, while we enjoy the riding, the people, and perhaps the odd pint of Guinness. <laughs> So Dingler's a town sat on a big chunk of rock which sticks out into the Atlantic on the west coast of Ireland. Now on this chunk of rock are some islands on the north side of it which have trapped a load of sand and formed a set of wetlands behind it called the Maharees. And this is where we're based, that Maharees peninsula off Dingle. Home to a man called Jamie Knox who's responsible for discovering this place many decades ago. Jamie moved out here, settled, started a family and a business and this spot is so complex, diverse and varied that I really recommend you drop into the shop, meet Jamie and Jeremy, his right-hand man. And get some idea of actually where you are. It's huge, the amount of uh, variety within, within driving distance. And depending on the conditions, you will find a need, a wealth of knowledge to be able to explore your trip to its full potential. Today, we're gonna start with a mellow session at Scrigan. Now, Scrigan is very sheltered. Um, there's a bit of Atlantic swell out the back just round the islands, but in the main body of the bay it is very safe, very steady and good clean wind too. So we're going to start today with a little bit of mellow kite foil and see where it takes us.
welcome to the pad. It's like a graveyard. Well, not a graveyard because it's not broken, but it is not lacking in foil kit. And of course, every good trip away is not complete without a sewing machine. Now today we are going to Kilcumming. Kilcumming is one of the many beaches on the main Dingle Bay and uh, the reason we're going here today is the swell's quite big. Um, we normally go to Fermoyle which has the smaller swell and it gets bigger progressively as you go down the bay, probably hitting its peak I would say at Gow Lane. Um, Kilcumming just today offers us the, the best sort of uh, conditions to get the wing kit out, uh, the fun size of waves for everyone to ride and uh, yeah it's a very easy steady place although um, it's a bit weedy today and uh, we're gonna have to stick more to the outside than the inside um, but you never know um, we'll see what it's like once we put foot on the beach Right now we're off to a spot called Shitties, which was named by the windsurfing community many decades ago. Now they want a short wave with a few uh, hard turns and a, and a throwing lip for them to smack. Shitties is not that. Shitties is a long, easy, smooth, beautiful wave that never really um, has a catastrophic end. And as such, it's perfect for winging. You don't need much power, just enough to get going, pick up the wave and just flag out and surf your way in. It is perfect for this new sport. 
Now, best at sort of uh, high and mid tide, once the tide gets too low, there's a few limestone boulders out there which you, well, you can choose to pick through. I haven't hit one yet, but uh, I'm told that at uh, medium and lower tide states, yeah, you have to be a little bit more mindful if you don't want to be sat in front of the fire dabbing the wounds of your fresh carbon foil. <laughs> but yeah, it's an absolute heavenly spot and is an absolute must on one of these trips. Quickly as it began, it is now the last day and I am going into the sea for a subfoil session, a discipline at which I need some practice. But what a trip, what a place. Um, you know, it's got so much this place, it really has. Um, I know I keep going on about it, but uh, it's gotta be one for your bucket list. Um, get a hold of uh, Jamie Knox's website. Um, he can give you some accommodation links and uh, you'll see um, some of the, the pictures of the spot guides I'll, I'll post in this video as well. But uh, yeah, um, it's just amazing. You can do six months riding in a week. Just, just amazing. And here we are 
don't know if you can see that behind me. Just wave after wave after wave. And uh, wind too, microclimate. The forecast says it's not going to be windy. It was windy. <laughs> and uh, yesterday, actually, doctor session because I was so tired. But uh, don't judge. If you come here, hopefully you'll have the privilege of dodging some sessions too. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, keep checking the forecast and go have a look at the ferry prices. Right, everybody smile. <laughs> everybody goof. Ooh. Everybody fight. Watch <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's one person who's going to fight. I'm going to take him to the ground instead of do it. I'm going to have him. He's going to hop.